Hello Europe and hey Norway. It's a William calling from Wooby Blogs and I'm joined by Patrick in Austria. And this evening we have the pleasure of chatting with Ira Konstantinidis. The- <laughs> I try. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are no. you? Really good. We're looking forward to the final of Melody Grand Prix and you yeah. and your song. Yes. So, you know, it's just a few days away. How are you feeling? Um, well, just a week ago, I wasn't really that anxious, but right now I'm feeling like really anxious and really stressed out because it's the first time I'm on TV and the first time I'm on a really big stage. <laughs> and is your, so, s- yeah. is your schedule quite busy? Yeah, it's really busy now. So the last week, I don't think I will have like any time to like think about anything. So that's also stressing me out that I don't have a time to like kind of collect my thoughts and realize what's happening um how did you end up competing in this year's melody Grand Prix? hello um it was kind of like a coincidence um they just needed uh, an artist right before because they were gonna uh send in the song with uh, another girl but uh she didn't want it after all and so they had one day to send in the song so they just i just had to rush into the studio at night didn't really know what i was getting into and uh, I just learned the song on the spot, and uh, we sent in the song, and then we were in. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What was your reaction when they approached you and when you heard the song? Uh, it all happened really quick, so I didn't really get any time to kind of uh, really listen to the song or realize what was happening. I didn't even really think we were going to be in Melody Grand Prix. Uh, or like Eurovision, I didn't really know that we were actually going to do it. I thought it was just like a little thought, like, hey, let's try this out. Maybe we can uh, come to Eurovision. And uh, uh, yeah, I just kind of did it because I thought, oh, this is fun. And then suddenly we're in, uh, going to be on TV and all these things. So could you tell yes. us a bit about your song, <laughs> We Don't Worry? What's the message? <laughs> Um, The message is to stop worrying about uh, other people's opinion about you and kind of just to get loose, have fun, live your life and uh, yeah, just to stop worrying basically. And is that a message that you follow in your own life? Uh, Well, I would say that it's kind of, uh, I would like to follow it. Uh, I hope and I try and I aspire to kind of be a person that doesn't really care about everything like that doesn't really care about what other people think but at the same time I think it's a really hard thing to do and I think we all struggle with that great and what about your staging for Melody Grand Prix can you tell us anything about it uh yeah um I'm gonna be uh dancing a little bit I'm gonna be having five dancers if that's what you you mean like what I'm gonna be doing on stage or (laughs) that's right yeah, okay. Uh, and, well, I don't want to say too much, but uh, at least I'm going to be there and we're going to have kind of like, the dancers are kind of going to be my friends and we're going to, yeah, just have fun and dance. <laughs> so who are your musical inspirations? Um, my, uh, I think my number one musical inspiration is Amy Winehouse because uh, she kind of has the, type, the same type of style that I have uh, when it comes to singing and music and... Uh, Yeah, I just really like her. She's really authentic, really, and just really cool and has a lot of soul. So I really love her. And there's so many different styles and genres in the Melody Grand Prix final. Yeah. What do you think of the other songs? Uh, I think there's, uh, especially now the the songs I've listened to in Norway, I think they're really good and it's going to be a really hard competition. But I feel like my song kind of represents a lot of the things that Eurovision represents, which is like having fun and it's happy and it's just like a big party. And that's what I think Eurovision is. So I feel like my song kind of really represents that message that Eurovision wants to present. So who is your biggest competition? My favorite or biggest, yeah. or biggest competition. Uh, actually, right now it looks like uh, the A Monster Like Me is going to be a huge competition this year. Uh, I think a lot of people are 
into that ballad ballad tape type of song. But uh, maybe Rayleigh is my competition because we're kind of doing the same things. We're both 17 year old. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what would it mean for you to sing for Norway at Eurovision? Uh, I mean, I'm just getting really happy thinking about it. I, I would just love to win. It would be really fun. But of course, I'm. it's like my first big thing, so I wouldn't expect to win. But at the same time, if I win, it would be like, I would be so happy. It would be amazing. Um, has your day today life changed at all since you were named as a finalist in Melody Grand Prix? Uh, yeah, I think like kind of people act a little bit different sometimes <laughs> I mean I'm not like a big superstar or anything it's just like it's my first thing but I already have kind of seen how people can kind of change around you just because you're on tv and I think that's really crazy and weird <laughs> <laughs> and you're half Greek um, I'm curious yeah. have you been to Greece and what role does that play in your life uh, actually, it plays a, a huge role. Uh, I'm there every summer because my father also works there a lot. So I'm there every summer visiting my family. And I kind of have like two lives. I have one life in Norway and one life in Greece because when I'm in Greece, I'm there like all summer. So I kind of get into like another way of life. So when I come home, I get like a huge culture shock because it's like <laughs> two really different worlds. <laughs> Um, do you have any favorite Norwegian acts or songs that have competed at Eurovision? Uh, any favorite of like this year? No, from um, Norwegian acts from the past. Um, hmm. uh, I think I, I mean, I really liked, uh, of course, Alexander G. Buck with Fairy Tale uh, because that was just like a really different type of song and it was it had a lot of charm and it was really happy and he was a really talented guy so I would probably say that one and you know Melody Grand Prix may be your first time on TV but you've been performing for so much of your life um, could you tell us about some of your other performance experiences uh, well actually I haven't really performed that much at <laughs> all uh, I have been in like uh, maybe um, a play in my school in ninth grade and then a year ago I was in another play where we were having shows like every day for two weeks um, it's something called Revue which is like yeah, kind of like a musical type of thing and uh, uh, a lot of okay I don't really know how to explain it but it's uh, at least a play from our school and I've been in like one singing competition so that's the only things I've really done Oh, wow. This is really exciting then. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's amazing. <laughs> um, and how is the atmosphere with the other contestants? Um, actually, I think we're getting really good a lot, uh, really well along. But um, I mean, we're still competition, like competitors. So I think there's always like a little atmosphere there is where we kind of like, I don't know, we're still competitors, even though we get along. So <laughs> it's interesting. And do you get to give your opinion on what you wear and how the stage looks, or does NRK make most of the decisions? Uh, it's actually really interesting because when I first uh, entered this, I had no idea, like, what role do I play in this? Is this, like, kind of my time to shine, or is it, like, NRK who kind of decides everything? And I think it's, like, a mix because I get to do what I want, but at the same time, uh, they are the ones that know what look good on TV. So I would probably do things a little bit different if I had to do it all on my own. But I mean, they know be they know best what looks good on TV. So I changed some some things. <laughs> yeah. Um, how was the reaction of your friends and family when they hear that you're competing in Melody Grand Prix? Uh, it was really mixed because. Uh, a lot of my friends, they don't really watch it. And it's not like a huge thing for teenagers, I think. But everybody thinks it's really huge because it's it unites all of Europe together. And uh, it's like a really good platform to present your music and yourself as an artist. So I think everybody was like really 
amazed and thought it was really huge that I'm going to be in it. Well, Ira, thank you so much for chatting with us. Um, thank you. As a final question, do you have a message for all of your new fans on our website, Weebie Blogs? Um, I would just say like uh, the message that I have in the song, which I said, and uh, I have actually a hashtag, which is called hashtag We Don't Worry, <laughs> and uh, where I also talk about this message about not caring about uh, everybody's opinion about you and living your life for yourself and having fun and not worrying and yeah not putting all your happiness in like how many likes you get on Facebook but just living your life for you that's great so all of you in Europe and Norway, Ira will be competing this Saturday, March 14th in the final yes. of Melody Grand Prix in Norway. If you're in Norway and can vote and love her song, be sure to pick up the phone. She's real, Yay. she's fun, she's fabulous, and she doesn't worry, y'all. And neither should she. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tusen Tak. Thank you. Tusen Tak. <laughs> Bye.